Let's talk about the New Orleans Saints. This is a team that went 7-10 last year, and they made a lot of good plays down the stretch, and that was part of the reason why they brought back Dennis Allen to be the head coach, which is still a questionable move. But I look at this New Orleans Saints team as a team that has a lot of good veterans. It just comes down to the coaching staff, and can Derek Carr be the guy for this team? So let's get straight into it. Derek Carr was released from the Las Vegas Raiders last season. And a lot of people look at this move for New Orleans Saints signing him and giving him this long-term contract as a desperation move. For the simple fact that Jameis Winston was not going to be their guy long-term and Andy Dalton for sure wasn't their guy long-term. Jameis Winston went down with a back injury. Andy Dalton cleaned up for the rest of the season. And it didn't look particularly well, but Andy Dalton wasn't a horrible quarterback. A lot of interceptions that he threw were not his fault, but he wasn't the guy that was going to get the Saints to the promised land. And this was a Saints team that could not take care of the football. They were one of the worst teams in all of football, and it came to taking care of the football. Them and the Indianapolis Colts both tied for leading the league in complete turnovers. You're not going to win football games by doing that. And they have a good roster, and they have a good defense. As, as much flack as I give Dennis Allen of being a head coach, he's a good defensive guy. He's a good defensive coordinator because this team was fifth in total defense, second in pass defense. They were 23rd in rushing. The thing is their rush defense, linebackers are out of place, and he has to do a better job of scheming that around. But they still have a good linebacker in Demario Davis who is completely underrated, and he deserves his flowers. And they also have Cameron Jordan on this team who gave you eight and a half sacks last season. So they have guys on this defense that can make big-time plays when needed. They just need to be straight up that run defense and Tyron Matthew was still a good safety for this team wasn't able to shine like that on the field for the simple fact that constantly was on the field their defense was on the field majority of the time because their offense either go down to the field they had to kick a field goal or they're turning the football over similar to what happened with Mark Ingram in that first San Bay Buccaneers game a while back they were marching down the field he fumbles in the red zone the San Bay Buccaneers get the ball back and you know how this story unfolds. And that happened a lot for the Saints this year. And that not, that's not completely on the quarterback. At the time, Jameis Winston was the quarterback for the team. And you look at what happened that Thursday night game for Andy Dalton. Two of the pick sixes weren't his fault. One of them can't win in the receiver's hand. He drops the ball and it goes back and it's, and it's an interception. So not every interception was on Andy Dalton. He just wasn't the right quarterback for this team long term. And you hope that Derek Carr can be. They also have good players like Marcus May and Marshall Lattimore in this defense as well, who is still their star-studded corner. But looking at this offensive side of things, they were just sluggish. Pete Carmichael didn't do the best play calling for this team, and he didn't put these guys in the best situation. You look at Taysom Hill. They rarely used him, and when they did, it worked out. But Dennis Allen is strongly against that. He doesn't like to have gimmick players on the field the majority of the time. We know that Taysom Hill can be quarterback for you, not long-term, not franchise starter, but he can give you some quarterback snaps. He can give you some wide receiver snaps in the slot. He can give some tight end snaps. He can also play running back for you. And when they did give him the football, it worked and he was explosive, but they rarely did. And I understand injuries played a factor into that, but even when he wasn't injured, they still didn't use him the same way that Sean Payton did. And I'm not expecting Dennis Allen or even Pete Carmichael, the offensive play call, to have the same mindset over Sean Payton, but just open your mind up to just using Taysom Hill more, especially when it works. And they're going to have to do that next year with this team for sure. Bringing back Michael Thomas, who only played three games last year, 171 receiving yards and three touchdowns. He can still be that good receiver for you. Not that guy that he was a couple of years ago because of the injuries, but he can still be a good guy for you. And you're bringing him back on a $10 million one-year deal. So you're not going out there and still paying him the big time money. If it doesn't work out next year, you can move on because Chris Olave has shown he can be the franchise cornerstone wide receiver for this team. 1,042 receiving yards and four touchdowns. He went out there and he balled. He's going to be one of the best young players on this team for years to come, and that was a perfect selection for the New Orleans Saints in last year's draft. They also have Trevor Penning on this team. Hopefully he can be a franchise tackle. If he can be with this team, and that's what they desperately need in the offensive line, is another tackle that can match up well with Ryan Ramchick. If you can have those two stonewall guys on the edge protecting Derek Carr, I believe you can find a lot of success, despite the questionable play calling. And speaking of Derek Carr, he's never played with a defense like this before, ever. When you look at his entire tenure with the Oakland Raiders to the Las Vegas Raiders, they were terrible on the defensive end, which caused him to be on the field more, and he had to do more deep shots down the field. I think you can be methodical with Derek Carr. I understand the concerns when he doesn't play in a dome because his stats dra drop dramatically. 
But he'll be going against teams like the Atlanta Falcons, who are also another tough team that's made some good moves in free agency. They play inside the dome. The Saints play inside of a dome. So you hope that those issues can go away with Derek Carr, but they can also run the football more and work off of play action. But Derek Carr is not a horrible, he's not a horrible quarterback. The contract could be horrible for this team long term, but he's not a bad quarterback. He's a guy that's going to give it his all on the field. He's going to make the right plays. What bothers me with this Saints team is this. They went out there and got Derek Carr. He is a Dennis Allen guy. He coached him when he was with the Raiders. And I understand trying to upgrade the quarterback position. But a lot of people and also myself will make this argument. How much of an upgrade is Derek Carr over Andy Dalton? He is a better quarterback than Andy Dalton. But if the play calling doesn't get better, how much better can Derek Carr be on this team than he was with the Las Vegas Raiders? Because if he's coming out here throwing those 14 interceptions again, like how he did last season, and not all of them were completely his fault, but he threw 14 interceptions with guys like Hunter Renfro and Devontae Adams and even Darren Waller went healthy on his team. And also Josh Jacobs, who's one of the best running backs last season. And you have a good running back in Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara had 897 rushing yards, two rushing touchdowns, 490 receiving yards, and two touchdowns. They didn't use him the same as well. I do think that the Saints could be a talented team. They have all the pieces on paper to go out there and win the division. And they have to be the favorites right now because the veteranship on this team and the defense that they have. They may have the best defense in this division. Like I said, the Falcons have made some power moves, so we will see. It's one of those things you have to play it out and see. But with the defensive mind of Dennis Allen, you hope that the defense can continue to stay strong. But if next season is a complete failure and they miss the playoffs, Dennis Allen has to go. Dennis Allen should have been gone last season, in my opinion, because the way that he managed his team and how the wheels fell off. But the last couple of games of the season, he turned a lot of people's heads around. They say, hey, let's give him one more shot. And I do understand wanting to give coaches a lot of opportunity, letting guys go out there and cook up and let them handle their situations. But we've seen this similar situation before Dennis Allen in the past with another team to where the defense was a strong suit and the offense just couldn't get things done. In the way that he manages the plays and the way that he manages timeouts. It just is, it's a completely different team than what the Saints were a couple years ago with Drew Brees. But I do expect for them to be a tough out. I do expect for them to be a tough team each and every week coming next season. It just comes down to can Derek Carr be the guy? Can he calm down those interceptions? Because those are the most interceptions that he's thrown his entire career. That was 14 last season. So if he can have those interceptions between 7 and 10, and he can give you 28 plus touchdowns that's a good season from Derek Carr and that should get you into the playoffs but he has a lot of weapons to work with he also has a good weapon in tight end position with Jawan Johnson who had 508 receiving yards and seven touchdowns so let me know in the comment section below can the New Orleans Saints be a playoff caliber team and is this team better than most people think I believe they're better than most people think for the simple fact they went seven and ten last year some people think that this should be a decent subpar team the talent that they have on paper they should be one of the better teams in the NFC. I'm not saying they're going to be a Super Bowl team or they're going to make a deep playoff run, but they can win the division in some cases. Some people don't even have this team win the division. They just have the wheels completely falling off. But let me know in the comment section below. How do you feel about New Orleans Saints? How do you feel about Derek Carr? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, one each and last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.